Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker campus and it's a blessing to be with you today. As a follower of Jesus Christ, are there things in your life that you are struggling with today that have you wondering if God still loves you? Now, they might be things that you have no control of. Maybe it's a death of a loved one or a bad report from the doctor. And maybe it's just troubles and hardships of this life. Or maybe they are things that you do have control of like pride, fear, or worry. And maybe these things, these struggles, have you wondering if they come between you and your relationship with God, even wondering if God still loves you. Well, can I just remind you today, can I actually encourage you today, as followers of Jesus Christ, we have the greatest assurance of all that once we come into a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ, that His love for us, that God's love for us is everlasting. And there is nothing, absolutely nothing that could ever separate us from His love. But don't take my word for it. So let's go to the Word of God. Uh, Paul the Apostle says this in Romans chapter 8, starting at verse 35. I'm going to read out of the New Living Translation. It says this, Can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean He no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or are persecuted or are hungry or destitute or in danger or threatened with death? As the Scripture says, For your sake we are killed every day. We are being slaughtered like sheep. No, Paul says, despite all these things, over, we have overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love, neither death nor life nor angels nor demons, neither our fears today nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below indeed Nothing in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus, our Lord. You see, Paul covers just about everything in this passage. And it's important that we are reminded that there is absolutely nothing that can separate us from the love of God. That's how much God loves you and I. He demonstrated that love by the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And the moment that we confess Jesus as the Lord and Savior of our lives by putting our faith and trust in Him, we were declared, you ready for this? Not guilty. We were declared His children. And even though we still sin because we are sinners saved by the grace of God, when we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And even through our struggles, whether they are our fault, our failures, or shortcomings, or maybe they're hardships and troubles outside of our control, we know that we are forgiven, we know that we are His children, and we know that we have the overwhelming victory through Christ Jesus who loves us. So whatever thing has you wondering if God still loves you as his followers, as his child, I want you to put a no, an N-O in front of that thing and remember that nothing can ever separate you from the love of God. God bless you. Have a good day.